Hello, 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 Calling Up Community. This is a draft uh, video for um, a conversation about aesthetic equity. So I started holding conversations. Well, I first uh, became aware of this term. It was introduced to me by, uh, what's her fucking name? Um, by that dancer lady, Liz Lerman, by Liz Lerman, uh, in a workshop that was led by her and Paloma McGregor. Uh, I, I then, um, organized a national conversation using that as the center to have some deep, um, interactions with other ensemble makers, specifically around trying to find some solutions around creating more equity. I personally have some strong, strongly held opinions about aesthetics and equity. In a nutshell, if the process is inequitable, generally the art is less aesthetically pleasing. I think that as a field, we have been putting up, we have been satisfying ourselves with mediocrity, with inaccuracy, with a lack of cultural competence, uh, with just, well, frankly, repetitive trash. A lot of repetitive, cheap trash. Because we want to keep rewarding the white dominant field as it exists, as it has defined what excellence is, what, what goodness is. I'm currently talking about this right now because Stephen King, the author, um, decided to give us some opinions. And he did this complicated thing. Now on Twitter, the communications practice is you create a thread if you're making one point that builds into another, that builds into another. If it's a full idea, you're doing that like that. If you're giving separate ideas, you do them as separate tweets. Now, I don't know if Stephen King doesn't know how to thread or if the sequencing of his tweets as separate um, is actually an indication that he first said one thing got a whole bunch of negative feedback, and then was like, but oh, yeah, 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 this. But this is what he was talking about. So King, um, I, I said, um, I would never consider diversity in matter of art, only quality. It seems to me that to do otherwise would be wrong. My response to that was diversity is code for non-white. King is saying that white dominated fields that have codified what quality means should continue to define that. Um, now, I personally think a lack of equity and cultural competency in a creative process makes for less quality cultural production, but that was me being a little, little snappish, right? But then King follows up by saying, the most important thing we can do as artists and creators of people is to make sure everyone has the same fair shot, regardless of sex, color, or orientation. Right now, such people are badly underrepresented and not only in the arts. And I go, well, sweetie, the second thing you said makes the first thing you said 100% untrue. So you either have to delete that first thing you said because it's not true, or you don't get to say the second thing. I also find it interesting because he got, he's gotten like an equal amount of affirmation for both observations. And I'm like, isn't that the way, right? Where the white guy who has been, who has white privilege and has gotten the chance to use that white privilege to create a gigantic body of work and dominate the field. People are still capitalizing on the Stephen King name. There are still movies being made off of ideas this man has had in collaboration with others. But you stick the Stephen King name on there and it's allowed to take, um, to be, to receive more funding and to receive more distribution based on all those other past yeses. I don't get to have that. Um, N.K. Jemison doesn't get to have that. Fucking Octavia Butler doesn't even get to have that. Why? Because the field was designed to say yes to the white male dominated definitions of what quality are. But I'll be honest, every single Stephen King book I've read that's had an African-American character in it has made me cringe just a little bit. He writes black people weird. They're not quite right. It kind of reminds me of the Uncanny Valley, where you're looking at some CGI'd, weird, cartoonish thing of a person, and it's almost correct, but not quite right, and it gives you a feeling of sickness, of like, un like, uh, like, of, of literally being like, I feel uncomfortable and disturbed. I'm thinking particularly of that snow movie with the with Tom Hanks, and it's like a Christmas train or something. Um, 
So um, I am arguing that Stephen King has been writing Uncanny Valley characters his entire career. But because all of the people who were the people who would decide on how much funding does this get? Does this get to be produced? How much funding does it get to be produced? And how much distribution does it receive? Because all of those people were white, none of them experienced the, this is kind of weird and not good. And so it was allowed to be the thing that just existed. And because it succeeded financially, it's called quality. We have bad definitions of what quality is. And because we have bad definitions of what aesthetic quality is, what aesthetic excellence is, and frankly, what aesthetic success is, because all of those definitions are embedded in this bad, white-dominated history of white-dominated, frankly, subsidized mediocrity, um, we don't actually know what's good. So, hey, Stephen King. I know what's good. You don't. <laughs> um, I don't know how to stick the ending on this, but this is enough uh, content. Um, I should hyperlink the uh, conversation right here. Here, um, I should also hyperlink um, any kind of fucking writing I can find on aesthetic equity. Although I don't think I'll be able to find some, but I'll look. I'll see if I can find anything that like is a article or something that backs this up, or at least the claim that I'm making, which is aesthetics are inextricably tied to justice. And when injustice is embedded in any part of the creation of their work, from how much money people are getting paid to what ends up on stage, generally what we're getting is something that has less quality. But because we receive the product and, we, and, the, and the process is erased, and because the definition of what good is is defined by those who dominate the field, we have trouble actually knowing what's good. But I'll be honest, I'm a black woman. I know what's good, and I'm pretty sure I know what's good better than Stephen King. So, game on. I have to figure out how to end, how to end this. I'm not doing a good job. Okay, rough draft. Boop. <laughs>